sneaker culture is everywhere. It can be seen on feet, on the streets, and on social feeds of celebrities, athletes, and everyone in between. What started as a functional sports footwear has now become a global phenomenon with millions of fans worldwide. Last time, we looked at countries like China, the US, and Germany. This time, we dive even deeper. This is what sneaker culture looks like around the world. Let's start with Puerto Rico. Here, international brands like Nike, Adidas, and New Balance dominate. But Nike takes the lead thanks to its special edition sneakers that pay homage to the island's rich heritage. Sneaker culture has deep roots in Puerto Rico, with a series of high-profile sneaker releases that showcase the island's rich culture and strong community ties. This connection began to solidify in the early 2000s when Nike introduced the first Puerto Rican-themed Air Force One in 2000. This release aligned with the Puerto Rican Day Parade, an important cultural celebration for the Puerto Rican diaspora in New York. Over the years, various models and brands have come to symbolize Puerto Rico's passion for sneakers. For example, Nike continued to honor Puerto Rican culture with the different models like the Air Trainer One and the Air Max One. Released in 2015, the Air Trainer One Puerto Rico featured clean white leather and cokey frogs on the tongue, paying homage to the island's native fauna. Another standout model, the Nike Air Max One Puerto Rico from 2019, featured cutout swooshes and asymmetrical color blocking that captured the island's vibrant spirit. But the Nike Air Max One isn't the only sneaker capturing the essence of Puerto Rico. The Air Max 97 also got a Puerto Rican makeover, further fueling the enthusiasm for culturally inspired footwear. Unfortunately, Nike had to cancel two Air Force One Puerto Rico releases due to mistakes in the production. The first cancellation occurred in 2019 when it was discovered that the shoe featured a mola pattern which is associated with the Ghana people of Panama and Colombia, not Puerto Rico. This cultural misrepresentation prompted Nike to recall the product to respect the distinct cultural heritage of both communities. In 2020, Nike attempted to re-release the Puerto Rico Air Force Ones but had to cancel again. This time, the issue was with the Puerto Rican flag printed on the tongue of the shoe, which is accidentally reversed. The excitement over these sneakers comes alive at events like Sneaker Fest in San Juan. Here, sneaker enthusiasts gather to celebrate global trends and to spotlight local artists and brands, creating a thriving community centered on a shared passion for sneakers. The rise of the secondary market has also played a crucial role, offering sneakerheads access to rare and limited editions and pushing the local sneaker culture to new heights. The sneaker market in South Africa is also going up. In fact, it's projected to surpass 280 million USD by 2029. Here, sneakers transcend their utilitarian function to become symbols of identity and style. This transformation is driven by a youthful demographic that not only embraces the latest fashion trends, but also sees sneakers as a canvas for personal expression and cultural pride. Among the array of popular sneakers, the Nike Air Force One, Air Max 97, and Converse All-Star each hold a special place in the community, echoing diverse cultural backgrounds. The Nike Air Force One in particular has become a cultural icon, often featuring designs that celebrate local heritage. Sneaker preferences can even vary significantly by region. Nike Bubbles are particularly favored in Cape Town, while Converse All-Stars are a staple in Soweto. Nike continues to dominate, especially among the younger crowd, with styles like the Nike Dunk High Panda catching the latest wave of popularity. Air Jordans also maintain a strong foothold, with models like the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, Stage Haze, and Dark Marina Blue being among the most coveted. Local brands are also making significant strides in this competitive market. Beitou, known for its distinctive mesh designs that blend traditional South African aesthetics with modern sneaker culture, has become a household name. It offers sneakers at accessible prices, and even ventured into the high-end market with the limited edition Opal GSI sneaker, priced at 397,000 Rand for those seeking exclusivity. With 12 retail stores and a robust online presence, Beitou's growth is a testament to its resonance within the community. Another local favorite, Drip Footwear, stands out with its bright, colorful designs and bubble soles appealing strongly to the vibrant youth. In the northern part of Africa, we have a country called Morocco. 
The sneaker market in there is expected to grow by 5.19% from 2024 to 2028, reaching a total value of 95.72 million euro by 2028. Among the local brands making an impact is Zine, founded by Zneb Brittel. Zine is celebrated for its ethical, handcrafted sneakers that highlight the ancestral skills of Moroccan craftsmen and support the local footwear industry. Another noteworthy Moroccan brand is Amaz, started by Fidela Badani. Amaz sneakers feature traditional Moroccan crafts in their designs, including trimmings and embroidery that celebrate the country's rich cultural heritage. On the international front, Steve Madden, an American brand, has made its way into the Moroccan market. Known for its mid-priced footwear inspired by New York City's rock and pop culture, Steve Madden offers a fresh style perspective to Moroccan consumers. Additionally, traditional Moroccan babouches have transformed a symbol of poverty to a trendy fashion statement among the youth. Originally a simple leather shoe, babouches are now frequently worn to clubs and social gatherings thanks to brands like Zion that have modernized them into versatile and stylish footwear options. Another thing about Morocco that you need to know is that they love Nike. Many types of Nikes are imported to Morocco from the EU countries. The sneakers they love vary a lot. Think about Nike Air Vapor Maxes, Nike Air Max 270, and Nike Air Max 720s as primary examples. In Morocco, they don't have too many official Nike retailers. There are a lot of knockoffs in circulation. These knockoffs are cheap, but they don't last too long. Therefore, Moroccans have a strong desire for the official quality of Nike, but not against the current retail prices. A lot of people are thrifting the Nike factory outlet stores in the EU searching for sneaker steals that can be exported to Morocco and then resold for a fair price in the North African country. The Italian sneakers market is a powerhouse in Europe, boasting a value of 3.5 billion euro in 2023 and claiming the title of the second largest in the continent, just behind Germany. With a vibrant growth forecast, it's projected to soar to 4.6 billion euro by 2029. This dynamic market, which captures around 20% of Europe's total sneaker sales, thrives on a blend of high competition and innovative designs. In Italy, the sneaker culture is particularly lively, marked by a robust mix of both international and local brands. For instance, Nike keeps making waves with high-profile collaborations such as the Nike and Peace Minus One Quando One and the Tiffany & Company Nike Air Force One Low. These partnerships not only bring fresh designs to the market, but also create a buzz among sneaker enthusiasts, much like the Air Jordan 3 Reimagined, which pays homage to its 1988 roots with a vintage flair that captivates both new fans and collectors. The heart of Italy's sneaker culture beats the strongest in Milan and Rome, where flagship stores and sneaker events dot the calendar, creating vibrant hubs for enthusiasts. Local brands like Golden Goose, Theodora, and Superga enrich the scene. Golden Goose stands out with its luxury sneakers that feature premium materials and a unique distressed look symbolizing casual luxury. Theodora impresses with its strong sports heritage, excelling in soccer, athletics, and running footwear. Meanwhile, Superga is celebrated for its classic 2750 model, a beacon of simplicity and elegance in the sneaker world. Italians have a hearty appetite for sneakers, averaging 2.8 pairs per year, which surpasses the European average. The market is segmented into the casual lifestyle, sports performance, and fashion luxury sneakers, with millennials and Gen Z driving the demand for trendy, limited edition, and collaboratively designed footwear. Theodora captures about 12% of the market share with its innovative and heritage-rich designs. Fila has seen a resurgence appealing to consumers with its retro-inspired looks and securing about 8% of the market. Other notable brands like Kappa, Lotto, and Elise collectively make up 15% of the market, each blending sports heritage with its modern fashion sensibilities. Collaborations and limited editions are particularly popular in Italy. For example, the Diodora and Mita sneakers collaboration reimagined the classic N9000 silhouette, becoming a hit among Italian sneaker aficionados. These exclusive designs are highly sought after, with sneaker enthusiasts often willing to pay premium prices for these rare finds. The allure of owning something unique and occasionally lavish is a strong draw in the Italian market, and honestly, you wouldn't expect anything less. In France, 
The sneakers market is making significant strides. Sustainability is at the forefront of its growth, with eco-friendly materials shaping consumer preferences significantly. Sneakers represent 28% of the overall footwear market, with sales anticipated to hit 1.64 billion USD by 2028, making a steady growth rate of 4.6% from 2024 to 2028. Remarkably, every second pair of shoes sold in France is a sneaker, underscoring the deep-rooted popularity of this footwear category. High top sneakers, deeply linked with basketball culture, is seeing a surge in popularity, aligning perfectly with the athleisure trend that merges athletic apparel with everyday fashion. Both classic designs and forward-looking styles are in demand, with celebrity endorsements playing a pivotal role in propelling these trends forward. Additionally, luxury brands like Chanel, Louis Vuitton, and Dior have made notable entries into the sneaker market, offering exclusive and upscale designs that appeal to those seeking luxury in their casual wear. Nike's Air Max 97 is beloved for its sleek, futuristic design and the comfort of its full-length, visible air cushioning. It stays in vogue through frequent updates with the new colorways and collaborations. The Nike Air Jordan 1 has also made a significant leap from its basketball origins to become a street fashion essential, thanks to its iconic silhouette and styling flexibility. New Balance's 990 series upholds a reputation for combining classic style with cutting edge technology, providing substantial comfort and timeless design. The 990 V5 in particular exemplifies this blend, appealing to those who appreciate both modern tech and traditional aesthetic. In Canada, the sneaker market is also on an upward trajectory, expected to grow at a CAGR of over 3.5% from 2024 to 2029, with projections reaching 1.67 billion USD by 2028. This growth is fueled by a combination of factors, including a growing population, rising disposable incomes, and the strong influence of sports and urban lifestyles on fashion trends. Sneakers have evolved from mere athletic gear to essential elements of Canadian casual and streetwear, embodying self-expression and versatility. The Nike Air Force One remains a perennial favorite, celebrated for its iconic design and versatility. The New Balance 1906 has also made a strong comeback with its classic build and collaborations with brands like Kith and Amy Leon Dior boasting its popularity. For outdoor enthusiasts and the style savvy, the Salomon XT6 stands out due to its durability and fashionable design. The APL Women's Tech Loom Bliss is another popular choice for its comfort and sleek laceless design that suits both athletic and casual settings. Adding a touch of luxury, the Tiffany & Co. Nike Air Force One Low collaboration merges classic street style with high-end fashion elements. The Nike Cortez celebrates its 50th anniversary still favored for its vintage look and comfort. Lastly, the collaboration between New Balance and Stone Island on the 991 V2 is also very popular here because of its distinctive design and premium materials, making it a standout in the current sneaker landscape. Over in India, the sneaker market is surging, projected to hit around 2.8 billion USD by 2024, making it a major player on the global stage as the second largest consumer of footwear worldwide. This explosive growth is driven by a young, style-conscious population that's increasingly influenced by global street fashion trends. Underpinned by a burgeoning digital marketplace that has helped the resale market blossom into a multi-billion dollar phenomenon. Events like SneakerCon in India and Mumbai are pivotal, attracting sneaker enthusiasts from across the region and beyond, showcasing a spectrum from rare vintage pieces to the latest releases from the top global brands. International giants like Nike, Adidas, and New Balance lead the market, with Nike's Air Jordan 1 being particularly coveted. Local platforms such as Find Your Kicks India, Veg Non Veg, and Super Kicks are critical in catering to the demand for limited edition and high demand sneakers, further stoking the fervor around these collectible items. The resale market is particularly robust, with rare sneakers sometimes fetching upwards of two lakh rupees, about 2,500 USD highlighting the premium that enthusiasts are willing to pay for exclusivity. Meanwhile, local Indian brands are making a mark with distinctive offerings that cleverly blend traditional craftsmanship with contemporary design. Brands like 710 are known for their fashion-forward yet affordable footwear, ranging from clunky sneakers to classic high tops marked by bold colors and graphic details. 
The Sari sneakers stand out by integrating traditional Indian artisanship like Zardozi and Chikankari with modern styles making them especially popular at weddings. Badoosh captivates with vibrant hand-painted shoes that are not only unique and durable but also promote social good by providing employment to disadvantaged women. Elevar focuses on comfort and versatility with sneakers designed for both sports and casual wear, leveraging innovative cushioning technologies and a commitment to sustainability. Doc sneakers combine style and substance, offering high-performance footwear crafted from vegan leather, appealing for the eco-conscious consumer with their sustainable practices. There's also a massive surge in sneaker popularity west of the Indian border in Pakistan. By 2024, the sneaker market in Pakistan is expected to reach a revenue of 439.1 million USD, with a projected growth rate of 4.01% CAGR through 2028. Karachi is at the heart of this trend. Despite its challenging exterior of dilapidated buildings and congested streets, the city is a hotbed of innovation. Its young creatives are setting new benchmarks in art, music, and fashion. Among these trends, pre-loved shoes have carved out a significant niche. Traditional Landa bazaars have gone digital, allowing platforms like Swag Kicks to offer a vast selection of footwear online. Sneakers are fast becoming a staple in Pakistani fashion, with sales projected to reach 10.95 million pairs by 2028. Among the local brands making international waves is Adams, founded by Wakas Ali and Sidra Kasim. Originating from their initial venture, Markor, Adams was conceptualized to address the common issue of ill-fitting shoes. This brand has gained significant traction, first selling by invite only and amassing a wait list of over 40,000 people before its public launch in 2019. And here's a bit of interesting trivia. Pakistan is also responsible for making the Taliban's favorite shoe. An American online shopping platform named Americana Pipe Dream is selling Pakistani service cheetah high top shoes advertised as the Taliban's favorite shoe and priced at approximately $99, which is around 30,000 PKR. The website promotes these shoes for those looking to mimic the Taliban style, stating that the service cheetah is a popular running and sports shoe in the Middle East and Southeast Asia. Its notoriety, according to the site, stems from its use by the Taliban, Mujahideen, and even Afghan security forces over the past 40 years. These shoes are sold in the U.S. as a rare find, and despite the platform's strong promotion, the details section admits that they are uncommon in the United States and hence at quality concerns due to their Pakistani origin. Ironically, these same shoes are available for 2,799 rupees on Service Pakistan's website. That was it, folks. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And give a heads up in the comments if we forget a country that has a strong sneaker culture. Ciao!